if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration and juice. It is February the 28th, 2022, and today the topic is healing the internal scars. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Mine was just fine. Uh, a few things. There are a few things that I want to kind of touch on today. So I hope that you guys, you know, uh, ultimately, uh, enjoy the juice. <laughs> um, so first I would like to say, uh, after Saturday or on Saturday, um, uh, let me see what I, I mean, I didn't really have much going on, but there is something that did happen. Um, and that is that. The little thing that I was kind of hinting at <laughs> um, happened uh, what well, came out. So basically, long story short, y'all know that uh, I, I became an author last year and whatnot. And I done published five books myself. Um, also, last year, I helped my mom publish her first book. And she has more publications in the works. Um, but there is another author in our family. <laughs> So, um, basically, uh, my announcement uh, that I was kind of hinting at over the weekend is that, um, yes, there's another author in our family, and, you know, those of you all that follow me on social media, you may already know, but if not, then I am glad to announce that my niece, yes, my little niece, Bailey Vashti O'Neill, um, she is now an author, yes. Yes, yes, she is now an author, and um, she's going to be having a book signing, as you all can see if you're watching me live, that you can see on the screen her uh, her book signing flyer, uh, and it's going to be on March the 12th, 2022, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, the location is there as well, uh, so for those of you all in Georgia that can and will and would love to attend and support and whatnot, check that event out um so yeah yeah congratulations to my little niece uh bailey vashti o'neill uh her book is called grown folks drama calls little kids to be mentally and physically affected um if i could just chit chat just a moment, because obviously, you know, there's some little things going on. <laughs> um, I don't want to get too, too deep into it. But I'll just say this. Uh, you know, we'll see what the Lord saying do out of me right now. But basically, um, this book was birthed out of her experience, um, I believe, at the age of like, I can't I can't remember the age at the moment, so my apologies for that. So it is it's it's from an experience that she had um a few years ago. Um it deals with divorce, it deals with blended families, step families, all these type of things. Um uh there's a bit of a little bit of a workbook in there for um, kids to track their emotions and things like that. Beautiful, beautiful book that was created by my mother, uh, and, and her. And, um, you know, so yeah, shout out to my international dream team for helping, you know, us put that together and, you know, and everything like that. Um, now obviously those are some heavy topics, right? Those are some heavy topics. Um, you know, and it may be 
a bit difficult, right, to have these type of conversations with the child. So to hear a child's perspective of those type of topics and whatnot could be, uh, well, that's what the book is, you know, but it could be equally as difficult, right? Because it's like, you know, how how to help a child understand what's going on, uh, how can the child express themselves, uh, and everything like that. So for me, I commend my sister, right? I commend my mother uh, for not only helping my niece to understand what was going on at that time, but also helping her to be able to express herself and how she felt. Um, I think I've made it extremely clear, you know, that in my childhood, I felt as if I had to find alternative ways outside of speaking um, to express myself, right? Um, so I, I think it's a beautiful thing that, you know, not only was my niece's voice heard, but she was able to communicate to my gra to my mother at the time, which is her grandmother. Um, she was able to communicate to my grandmother, or her grandmother, my mother, <laughs> um, at the time, and and my mother helped her to understand the things that was going on in her life at that time. So, um, and I understand that, that that's probably a unique situation, right? Um, sometimes we don't explain stuff to kids. Um, sometimes we just allow things to happen around children, right? And, and then they go through life confused. Um, and I will say this about my mom. Um, in a lot of ways, in regards to understanding situations, I didn't grow up confused. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew that my father had passed, for example. Like when I, far as I ever known, like I always knew of my father, even though he passed before I was born. For example, now obviously that's a difficult thing that she went through alone, and and I and when I reflect on that sometimes, it hurts me to my heart to to imagine, you know, my mother or wife at that time, losing her husband while she was pregnant, and and then having to raise the child alone. Um, you know, I I commend her, I salute her, I, I give her her flowers every day for that. Um, you know, I don't, obviously I have not lived that, you know what I'm saying? But I can imagine that that is a difficult situation, you know? And so, yeah, I, I, for, so for example, yeah, I, that was something I always knew. Um, that was something that she communicated to me. Um, so that alongside of other things throughout life, um, for the most part, you know, it was like, I didn't grow up confused about adult things. Right. And so. Um, in regards to that, <laughs> so, so yeah, you know, um, again, this might be a unique situation that, you know, um, a child was able to not only, you know, because the child, here's the thing, children are going to observe life. They're observing things around them every day. Now, whether they fully understand what's going on, that, that depends on who's around them to teach them. Right. Um, so obviously my my mother was around at that time to help her understand the things that was going on. And and in that they were able to track her emotions and and how she felt about the situation. And and that's what the book is. Um obviously they can go deeper about that and and the other details and whatnot. But um but yeah, so I mean, hey, if if that's something that you all need assistance with, you know, if that's something that you all um you know, would like to share with your children and, and help them to understand perhaps some of the situations that's going on in, in their lives, then by all means, check out the book. It's on Amazon. Um, you can get it there or you can go to her event and, you know, she's doing a book signing or whatnot. It's the day after her birthday. Um, they gave me several shout outs in the live video that they did. Uh, I think it was Saturday. And so, yeah, yeah, to God be the glory. Um, I feel like it's a beautiful thing that has happened and hopefully it's something that can really help and heal um, some of the internal scars, uh, I guess, um, uh, mainly within children. So, so that's one thing, one cool thing, one cool thing. Um, and since we're talking about 
books and, and whatnot, let me just go ahead and shout out that on that same day, I noticed that's crazy. <laughs> So that means I won't be able to go to my my um, niece's book signing because I'm going to be out there <laughs> um, at a book release party. Um, I don't have the name of the group in front of me, so my apologies uh, for that. Well, I don't have my contacts on, but y'all can see it on the screen, y'all. And I don't want to say their name wrong. So let's just, you know, this, this group is putting together an event and um, it's going to be Somewhat of a, oh, here it is, my apologies. Okay, it's called the Radical Readers Clubhouse. Yeah, so the Radical Readers Clubhouse is hosting um, their second anniversary, and they are going to be featuring uh, my book, Madam Miraculous in the Messy Laboratory, um, book release party. Uh, you might even see Madam Miraculous there. And so that's something that's going on as well on the 12th at noon, uh, March 12th or whatnot. So yeah, two awesome events, two awesome books to check out, uh, depending on where you are. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're in the Atlanta area, I guess, you know, come on over and see Madam Miraculous, you know. Uh, but if you're in the Jackson Griffin uh, area, then go on over and see, you know, Bailey with Grown Folks Drama, you know, and everything like that. So, you know, it's got to be the glory for, you know, different opportunities and things like that. Um, that is something. Also, let me just go ahead and shout out since I'm doing announcements. <laughs> Uh, another thing that happened over the weekend is I found out we got 200 subscribers on our YouTube. So shout out to all of you all. Thank you all so, so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for sharing and liking and all those different things. Um, you know, we're celebrating all the milestones. So, you know, that is a blessing to have 200 of you all that, you know, saw some value in God, Sex, and Love channel. And um, we hope that we continue to add to that every day. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so, so, and then yesterday, y'all know I worked, y'all know I worked yesterday. Uh, I might talk about it in the after show because, you know, it's not that important, I guess. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that later. Let's get into the juice, okay? Um, yeah, let's get into the juice. So the, the topic today is healing the internal scars. The interesting thing was um, my prayer and meditation with the Soul Space app today was centered around healing. And um, the funny thing was, I I saw this, and it's, I guess, considered like art, but it was like, uh, I guess, some type of artist that um, would uh, kind of, you know how, okay, a man would get his hair shaved, and sometimes they shave designs into their hair. Um, I know at one point when I was, you know, shaving the size of my hair, when I, I um, did that as well. You know, so anyway, I saw this video of this artist doing this with a horse, uh, you know, shaving designs in the horse's hair um, and whatnot. And I guess maybe other, other animals as well, but I only saw the horse and then I kind of kept going. But anyway, so as I was doing my prayer meditation, I, I imagined what, or what came in my mind as I was doing my prayer meditation was that type of thing happening with skin. And the question that came in my mind is like, how would that heal? <laughs> like, and what would that look like? Like, you know, and so it led me to think about the word scars. The word scars was heavy on my mind this morning um, during and after my prayer meditation. So that's what I kind of started looking up and whatnot. Um, that led me to look up a lot of different things and, uh, you know, a lot of different um, topics and whatnot, but around the same idea of healing and scars and and all these different types of things. Um, so, I mean, ultimately, I did define them. And so, the definitions I wrote down this morning, uh, scar says, a mark left on the skin or within body tissue where a wound, burn, or sore has not healed completely. A fibrous connective tissue has developed. And... Again, I think like looking deeper into scars and, and different types of scars and all those different things. I think I even looked deeper into like for fibrous. I said it's right before now. I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. Fibrous, whichever one. Fibrous connective tissue. Um, looking deeper into that led me to collagen, the word collagen. So when I just uh, defined that, it said a the main structural protein 
found in skin and other connective tissues, widely used in purified form for cosmetic surgical treatment. Now, the thing was, again, as I was looking and I was going deeper and I was kept reading different verses and it wasn't resonating, I'm like, Lord, it's almost five or whatever the case was. And I'm like, because obviously I'm recording after six now. And um, I just was like, you know, am I missing something? Like, and I took a moment and I paused and, you know, you know, just got silent mentally and whatnot. And then that's when I ended up going deeper and looking into uh, the, what I just told you all was for fibrous or fibrous connective tissue and collagen and all that. And I think that's what opened my eyes to uh, the internal part. Because I was thinking more so about external and scars and all this. And, and it's interesting because as I was writing down the definition, I saw it in the first definition. Um, if we look back at scar, it says a mark left on the skin or within body tissue. So it was there already. It's just, I guess it took something else for me to, to think more about internal. Because what got me thinking about internal was cosmetic surgical treatments, um, which we know the majority of type, you know, different types of cosmetic surgery is taking care of something on the outside. But really, a lot of times, there's really things going on on the inside. So that's what led me to the name of the topic today. Um, I also wrote down the definition of healing, which says the process of making or becoming sound or healthy again. So, yeah, so with all of that, <laughs> with all of that being said, let's see what the Bible has to say. So 1 Peter 2 and 24, it says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. Can we let that marinate on today? <laughs> um, it's, it reminds me of a conversation I had with my sister last night, but obviously, again, I don't want to get too deep into that because I believe that, you know, that will be addressed whenever. Um, but sometimes, um, if I just focus on this verse here, um, it says here that, he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. That right there. That's some juice right there. You know what I'm saying? To me, to me, that's juice. Because, you know, again, a lot of times we want to just handle things in our own way, right? We want to handle things in our own way. We want to, uh, you know, take vengeance upon ourselves when at the end of the day, the Bible tells us something completely different, y'all. It tells us to handle different situations and that God, you know, the vengeance is his and all these different things. And so, again, here it says that he bore the sins, right, in his body. Um, you know, it ends, that verse ends by saying by his wounds we, um, that we are healed. And so... Uh, what we are supposed to do, right, is live to and uh, live to righteousness. Um, you know, die to sin and live to righteousness. Um, you know, I hope that encourages you and inspires you today, y'all. Because you know, at the end of the day, again, um, you know, we don't have to um, allow sin and and sinful nature, right, to overpower us. Um, and I believe that, you know, um, I wish I had wrote down this verse that's coming into my mind, but I'm about, I feel like I'm about to say it wrong. Um, yeah, it went away from my mind, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me keep going here. Let me keep going. Uh, another verse I came across that I felt led to share was First John 4 and 4. It says, little children, you are from God and have overcome them for who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, now when you guys look at the go deeper section, 
Um, you know, I felt like those verses in that is is for the people that is ready for some meat and, you know, ready to go deeper and, and, and receive a little bit more detail about this um, when it comes to eternal, internal, internal, I-N-T-E-R-N-A-L, internal scars. But, um, but yeah, but for right now, for the juicers, you know, for people that may or may not, I don't know where we are spiritually and whatnot. Um, so for us that may be beginners or whatever the case is, right? Um, like that verse says, we are from God and we have overcome them. Uh, why? Because for he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. So, yeah, you, every now and then you might have to give up your right for someone else's wrong, right? Every now and then you might have to just step back and allow God to uh, take care of different situations. And that may be awkward and weird and, and, and hard. But, um, you know, again, as you do this, you I believe that, you know, um, you'll have peace. Um, and... Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's heal the internal scars. Uh, allow God to heal the internal scars because he's already done it. Right. He's already done what was necessary to, to do that. So what we need to do is trust him in that. Um, well, Galatians 6 and 17, it says, from now on, let no one cause me trouble for I bear on my body. The marks of Jesus. Oh, man, that kind of stood out to me this morning. And um, and it was in the midst. I think I, I came across that verse like before I finally uh, settled, I guess, on this topic or whatnot. Um, but it really stood out when I came across it. And, um, you know, I guess that that also is um, pointing to internal scars to some ex um, effect as well, because you know, a lot of times, again, we focus on the external, right? We focus on, you know, the things that we can see. Um, and, and sometimes we don't take time for the things that's within. And, um, you know, but at the end of the day, if we are, I mean, hey, I guess if you're listening to the sound of my voice today, right? Then I hope that the verses that I've shared have encouraged you to understand that, you know, that ultimately God has already done what was necessary to heal you know he bore on the tree he bore our sins um so what we need to do is live in righteousness right later on it comes around and tells us that you know uh that he who is in us which is god is greater than he who's in the world um you're going to see in the go deeper section about um you know what the true warfare is, which is like spiritual warfare. But I, I felt, I didn't necessarily feel led to, to share that verse here on the juice right now, because again, that's for people that, you know, are ready and willing to go deeper about that. Because until you, you know, understand that there's an internal thing, you know, deeper things going on versus just the external and what we see, then, um, then you might not be ready for that. <laughs> so depending on where you are, <laughs> uh, that's something on today. But yeah, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, let me see. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know, hey, that's the juice, y'all. <laughs> that's the juice. That's the last verse that I had in, uh, for that. Um, again, I hope everything that I've shared today encourages you and inspires you in, in that area. You know, the, the testimony about my, my niece's book and, um, you know, dealing with things that's going on internally, um, understanding that God has already done the healing. Um, so let us live in righteousness and, and allow him to do his thing. Um, yep, that's the juice. <laughs> the Bible verse of today is Isaiah 55, 6 through 7. It says, Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and the will 
and he will have mercy upon him and to to and to our God for he will abundantly pardon friends I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to God sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow if the Lord's will bye bye Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at miracleofwine.com.